a city is designed for people uh, and the underlying values are, are freedom and health and, and our public space should uh, reflect these values. A lot of cities are already uh, in the process uh, of uh, uh, making policies uh, for sustainable mobility because uh, a lot of uh, large uh, cities see that, uh, that car dependence is uh, space inefficient, unjust and polluting. And the main challenges lie in uh, the specific uh, transition problems uh, which have to do with lock-ins uh, in certain systems like a fossil lock-in, uh, in infrastructure and in finance. The, the first thing I would have to say has to do with uh, road safety and with uh, space in the street. This is most often a challenge uh, for a lot of cities and for a lot of people who maybe want to cycle but feel unsafe in their streets to do so. One of the more easy steps you can take is uh, to reduce uh, the maximum speeds in cities. In the larger metropolitan area, the reliance on public transport is more important because the distances are larger. But also here we see uh, uh, the beginnings of a shift. Uh, so you see that the action radius in the Netherlands uh, of cycling uh, commuting uh, trips uh, is being expanded uh, um, from, uh, for instance, a distance of five kilometers to a distance of 10 or 15 uh, kilometers uh, uh, made, uh, made possible by electric cycling. Mobility uh, is freedom and should be available and accessible for all people. You have to bring uh, people to the table to identify uh, specific hurdles that, that some people might face. Underlying question should always be, uh, what kind of city would do we want to be or what kind of metropolitan area do we want to be? Uh, a city is designed for people and, and should be the most equitable and most safe places for people uh, to live.